Hundreds of new features and units have been added to version 10, and here are a few highlights. One that I particularly like is the replace a unit. You can take anything that you have that's like, as far as base cabinets, wall cabinets, tall cabinets, and replace them with something else. So if I wanted to take this two drawer base right here and replace it with a four drawer base, I just select it and I've replaced it. I can select this unit and let's say uh, we want to search for a seven drawer combination that would fit in here. We could go up to the new feature for searching up here, hit seven, take a look at some of these seven combinations and maybe pick that one, select that, and I just replace that with the seven drawer item. Now I can also come back over here and just go, say, replace this with a base cabinet. So we just replace that and we totally change the configuration in two seconds. It really is simple. It's easy. Um, I don't know how much better it gets than that uh, as far as that goes. But uh, that's really going to speed up all the design capabilities that people have. We also have where you can go up to change and edit system. You can edit black and white shading. And this allows you to change the shading that currently is showing. So if I close here, go to black and white, and let's go to edit. Oh, sorry, change black and white shading here. And we say we want to change it to this we just close and we've got that particular shading and that's just something that a lot of people had asked for we also have where you can go up to view show shelf lines they'll show through whatever the shelf lines are that's an on and off switch at this point and we also have a very important feature when it comes to design and also manufacturing and that is with the doors and the drawers when you now go up to doors and change doors on this job you're going to have a new menu, but it gives you a lot of new options in here. There's hundreds of new door styles, and it, it's quite extensive. But more importantly, over in door details, you're going to have where you can edit your door defaults. And this is where you can preset your, your door styles and rails for the design. It will show it in your design. It will also calculate any in any of the new version 10 uh, cut list, so it transfers over. Uh, so it's parametric. Now you can come to the, let's say, drawer top rail. Let's say we're going to change that top rail and, and bottom rail. Let's make that uh, one and a quarter, let's say. And we'll make the other one one and a quarter. And we'll just use uh, for this job only, set in this room, and it added the inch or the quarter inch extra to the one inch there. And it will calculate that in, in the cut list, shows it in the screen. We've also done some things with the dimensioning to make it work uh, a little slicker. Uh, if you come over here, you'll notice that, you know, there's some horizontal uh, or vertical changing going on as far as the uh, dimensioning. So it fits a lot tighter and nicer. Um, so that will help out a lot of people. We're going to put it back to the uh, level two dimensioning there. Um, we've also added uh, the Cabinotch libraries. Now they've been in version nine for some people. But if you come in here, you're going to notice there's Cabinotch and Cabinotch Overlay. What that is, is when you create designs with this, and this is for frame construction, Cabinotch will allow you to create a design. And then when you go to File and Cabinotch Request a Quote, it will step you through setting the material, uh, validating that everything is correct, and it will create an order. It will give you a price and essentially they're going to cut all your parts and send you these cabinets that you'll end up staining, finishing and adding doors and drawers to. And it's a great new feature uh, as an option to uh, doing a lot of other things for people. It will help you manage uh, your overall uh, business for keeping up with the, the big workload. We've also added under doors and with the, the help of Keystone the Keystone Wood Specialties, and that particular company, when you uh, go to create the door list there, it takes all the doors and, and the styles of doors here, and you set all the details for what you want from them, and then you just order from them, and they'll send you uh, the doors. We've also done a lot with the um, under handles and knobs or hinges, and you can also click over on the shortcut here, and you notice 
These look a lot nicer, but you can also import your own knobs and handles as long as they're DWG files. There's some DXF files that will take in STL also. So that's just a nice little touch we've added. If you come over here, you can also double click on a wall, come down to edit wall shape, and maybe take a pre-configured wall shape and you can change, you know, where things are. You can type the physical numbers in here. You can add points so that if it's you know, something that you just want to make different that matches what's out on the job site. You just come in and, and do that and you apply. Now I'm going to cancel. And another thing we've done is we've added over uh, 40, what is it? Actually 28 new valances. So if you come over here in the cabinet version, you'll see all sorts of new valances in the list. And we've added hundreds of, of uh, new items and features in the program also. We have in 3D something else uh, that's a little interesting. Uh, there are times when you get to having a lot of things on the design and a lot of walls, and you just need a little help uh, knowing where things are. Well, when you go to options now and you come into any of the hide from drawing, it does show you where you're standing in your your view and if there's any particular wall numbers that are in your way you can omit those walls within the list without having to go back and check and uh, that for now pretty much covers some of the highlights for the uh, cabinet uh, version and uh, what you'll find is there's a lot more things that I'm going to go over on some of these other videos but for now that gives us a good starting point